Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here we go again, December security update, but this time it's for the Pixel 4. And there are a lot of new changes that you will like in this update, so I'm going to show you all of them in this video. But before getting started, let's make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. First, let's take a look at the update summary and the first thing it says here, new features, improved performance and bug fixes. Second thing it says face unlock improvements. When it's on, face unlock images are occasionally used to create improved face models. This helps recognize you better over time. In other words, every time you unlock your phone, it will keep track of the changes happening to your looks. And that means it will learn how your face changes over time and that makes the experience more seamless. Which is pretty much the same approach Apple using in Face ID, but it doesn't mention anything about unlocking the phone while your eyes closed. I tested the Pixel 4 after the update and I still can unlock it with my eyes closed. So it seems that uh, December update is not the update you are waiting for when it comes to face unlock. So when it comes to face unlock under settings, I didn't see anything different or anything new. So let me show you this. So when I go to security, face unlock, As you see here, everything is pretty much the same. It seems that the improvements are under the hood, so you will not see anything different in the face unlock menu. The second change is related to the always on display, so it's no longer called always on display under settings. So if you go to settings and then system and then motion sense, you have here a new option called idle lock screen. And here you have three options, either to make it completely off and that will turn off your always on display or you make it always on which we already know what it does but the new option here is called on when you are nearby and as you see here in the demonstration above if your phone is on the table the display will completely go black and when you approach your phone and look at it it will turn on the always on display and it will show you the clock and the notifications waiting for you which is not the same as reach to check. Reach to check, you have to approach the phone with your hand, but here you just need to look at it. So Google started to use the motion sense technology to add more features. And to show you this, I have to lock the screen and I'm gonna put something on it because it detects that I'm nearby and the display will never go off. So to, do, to achieve this, I will put it like this and put my Pixel 3 XL on top of it and wait just for a few seconds to allow it to turn off. So as you see now, the display is completely black. And when I approached my phone, the always on display is now showing me the clock and the weather. And if I have any notifications, it will show up as well. Next, Google Photos app. And if you are checking the news, you should be aware that Google is rolling out a new update for the Google Photos app that will allow you to share your photos with your family and friends in original quality without the need to create a download link or use any other app. Everything happens within the Google Photos app, which I'm going to show you later in this video. But there is only one feature exclusive to the Pixel 4 that has been released with the December security update, which is blurring the background of any image. So let me show you an example here. Here is an image I have taken with the front camera using the night sight, which means portrait mode was switched off. And it says here blur background, which appeared automatically as a suggestion for me. And when I tap on it, it will show me a slider which will allow me to blur the background of the image. So let me zoom to show you this. So as you see here, the background, it changes to portrait even after capturing the image. And when you are happy with the blur, ef blur effect you want, you can just tap on save a copy and it will create a separate image with the blur effect for you. So you can use both the normal one and the portrait one. You can also uh, reach the blur uh, slider by tapping the edit button twice and you will see the blur slider appearing here as well. But keep in mind it doesn't appear 
in 100% of the photos, it only appears if the photo is valid for the blur effect. But I found that it shows up all the time with images of people either taken with the front camera or the back camera. And that's a really helpful feature in case if you forgot to use the portrait mode while taking your image or if you think it will look better with the blur effect so you can apply that in post which is really really nice. One small thing when you apply the blur effect to the normal image you still can tap and hold on the image to see the original image before saving it. Another really cool feature that Google added to the Google Photos app either on Android or iOS is the ability to share your images in original quality with your family and friends without the need to use any third party chatting app like WhatsApp for example, which compresses your image and send it in low quality. So let me show you this. So here is an image that I want to share to one of my contacts. When I tap share, you now see a new option called send in Google Photos and you have the ability to create a new group or you share your image with individual contacts. So anyone in your contact list with Gmail already saved, you will be able to share the image immediately with in original quality. So I'm gonna use this contact which is another email set up on my pixel 3 xl and when i tap on send it will send the image i also can say something which is hi for example i'm gonna hit send and the image should appear right on my pixel 3 xl as you see here here is the image and i can also do a like and once i do that here i should get a notification on my pixel 4 xl didn't work yeah you see the like is coming now and also I can add a comment to this image and tap on send also I can use Google Lens if I want to identify anything in the image as well as you see here okay and finally I can also share it with someone else or I can save it to my library, which means I will save the image in original quality. So I'm not going to lose anything. That's a really cool feature. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to use it a lot. I'm going to stop using WhatsApp completely because it always compresses my images and send it in low quality. There are also a couple of visual changes. The first thing is the colorful ring around your profile picture. And when you tap on it, you now see the backup status. You can check if it's complete or in progress. Also, you have the free up option. And when you tap on it, it will allow you to delete the photos from your device and keep it only on the cloud. And this option was available only under settings, but now you can access it from here. There are also a couple of features related to the Google Duo app that got released with the December security update. And they are only exclusive to the Pixel 4. So I'm not going to be able to show you this uh, on camera, but I'm going to show you an article from 9 to 5 Google that talks about the two features. So if you are on a video call using Google Duo, the phone will automatically zoom in and center your face in the frame. And if someone else enters the frame, the phone will zoom out back again and include both of you. The other feature is the ability to add blur effect to the background while video calling using Google Duo. So I'm gonna leave the link of the article in the description if you want to check it yourself. Also keep in mind there are a lot of improvements taking place under the hood related to the performance, RAM management and the camera. So I'm not gonna be able to show you the improvements in the camera in this video. But I'm going to try to show you the difference in RAM management by launching all the apps you see now on the screen of my phone. And I'm going to see how many apps out of them.
open 11 apps and two games in the background and jump between them back and forth without any refresh but this is just initial impressions i'm not sure if it's really improved or not so i'm gonna do further testing and share with you my thoughts so that's pretty much it for today i hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching